Chamonix means many things to many people. To some, it's the birthplace of mountaineering. Others, it's the home of the first Winter Olympic Games. To many, it's well the posh, swanky ski resort. But what most people don't realise is unlike virtually every other ski resort in the world, Chamonix is just as busy, if not busier, in summer. Indeed, the busiest week of the year in terms of visitor numbers is UTMB week, which falls at the end of August and starts at Emma every year. And that's a massive trail running race. More on that in a minute. But yeah, it's probably unique in the world of ski resorts that Chamonix is busier in summer than it is in winter. I can't think of anywhere else in the world, even somewhere like Whistler. Yes, it's very busy at the peak of the mountain bike season, but it's only really peak summer holidays. There's still a sizable bridge and in interseason, whereas Chamonix is just busy from straight from winter into summer. There's barely any spring season at all. From the start of June onwards, pretty much every week or weekend, there's a major sporting and cultural event going on in the valley or close by. So I've missed a few already. Things kicked off with the Criterium du Dauphiné, which is a warm-up bike ride for the Tour de France. That passed through Solange and Megève right at the start of June. We've also had the Triathlon de Mont Blanc and Fête de la Musique recently. And also the Olympic Torch passed through Chamonix this weekend just gone as well, which is obviously fairly unique to this year. The first big, big sporting event taking place right here in the heart of Chamonix itself is this coming weekend, 27th to 30th of June. So this is a trail race, not to be confused with the UTMB. These two big trail running races pretty much bookend the peak summer season here in Chamonix. But yeah, so Marathon de Mont Blanc, it's a slightly smaller scale event, but it's still huge. But it's a local run race rather than the massive commercial enterprise of the UTMB. And there are eight races in total over the course of the weekend, from 10k all the way up to 90k. But the 44k, aka the marathon, being the, the big, the main event. But there's also the infamous VK, which is, you can't see it, but vertical kilometre up that way, up the Brabant lift. But if trail running isn't your thing, then this weekend there's also the Enduro World Series and Cross Country Marathon mountain biking events taking place in neighbouring Comblu and Megève. So yeah, something for everyone. Hot on its heels, from the 4th to 7th of July, we have the Arctic Alpine Academy, which this year is centred here in Park Coutet, which is different from previous editions, which has been based over in Plaster Triangle outside the Mary. But at its core, the Alpine Academy is a series of workshops, seminars and skills courses up in the mountains. But it's so much more than that. There's gear demos, there's premieres, film premieres, there's art, there's photography, there's music, the concert just behind me here, there's food stalls, etc, etc, etc. It's huge. And it's also a chance to meet many heroes once again. So the guided courses up in the mountains are run not just by the amazing local Chamonix guides, but it's also many of the Arcturix pros from all around the world. So the likes of Will Gad fly in every year and some of them will be hosting some of the courses as well as presenting their films and so on on the stage or in the in the cinema so yeah massive event it's well worth coming to visit as well i'll provide a bit more detail on that closer to the time as i'll be volunteering this year as well but also that weekend there's a downhill and cross country mountain bike world cups over in leger so yeah if you fancy escaping the madness of chamonix then you can find more madness over in leger in the port de soleil where um for the last few years now they've been hosting the downhill and cross country mountain bike world cups consecutively and yeah it's a massive event as well so many people crazy crazy wild fans amazing mountain biking and yeah yet another world-class event pretty much on our doorstep from 12th to the 14th of the july it's the turn of the climbing world cup which is quite the spectacle i'm not a huge fan of sport climbing but even i have to admit this is quite impressive to watch so many host rounds of both lead and speed climbing world cups which are no longer a combined event anymore separate events in the olympics this year in paris so the athletes about to specialize in one or the other some athletes will still do both, but on the whole, most will now be specialists in either one or the other. Despite being open air, the event takes place come rain or shine. The massive overhang of the lead wall keeps all but the worst of the weather out. And the square to my left over here, come finals night, is absolutely packed with fans. Literally thousands of people here. Fans, supporters, and also the athletes as well. You can rub shoulders with all your heroes, so if you want to meet some of the climbing heroes, then now's your opportunity. The likes of Andre, Megos, and Garnbrit can often all be seen wandering around town as well, so yeah. Really is a great opportunity to meet some of the world's best climbers here. It's not just extreme sports we have to offer. From 22nd to 27th of July, there's also the Cosmo Jazz Moot Festival, which is a series of largely jazz, but not just jazz, music concerts dotted all around town and up on the mountain in venues such as here at the Maison des Artistes. But yeah, there will also be concerts up at the Midstation, at the Brevent and Plajewski areas, some over at La Tour and La Zouche as well. So yeah, a whole host of concerts and a host of amazing situations as well.
As if two major trail running events wasn't enough, there's also the Arjun Trail running race on the 21st of July. So that's based up in Argentia, obviously, as the name suggests. There's only two races this time round, 14 kilometer and 27 kilometer, but still, they're adventurous enough. Again, much, much smaller than both UTMB and Marathons and Mont Blanc, but still pretty big events, pretty big scale. And yeah, if trail running is your thing, it's definitely worth checking out. From the 11th to 15th of August, it's the Fete de Guide, which is basically a big celebration of all the work that all the local mountain guides do in the, in the Chamonix area and surrounding valley. So different events taking place up and down the valley on different days, different towns. This is basically a series of demonstrations. There'll be some music, there'll be some food, be some little parades, but then also lots of people in very, very retro, ancient Alpine gear, wandering around town and up and down the valley. So yeah, various things to keep you entertained. So check, that's well, well worth checking out too. Last but not least, it's the Behemoth, which is the UTMB, which runs from the 26th of August to the 1st of September this year. And this is without a doubt, the biggest ultra marathon and trail running race event in the world. Absolutely huge now. It spawned its own world series and everything. Like the Marathon de Mont Blanc, the UTMB has eight races, but this time they're so much bigger, so much longer. They range from 15 kilometers all the way up to 300 kilometers. The UTMB itself being a whopping 171 kilometers. It's an entire lap round Mont Blanc, hence the name. And not every race starts in Chamonix, and not every race finishes in Chamonix. So you can also catch plenty of the action in neighbouring Cormier, Champex Lac, Trion, for example, as well. But yeah, everything's centred around Mont Blanc. But the start finish line for the UTMB itself, like the Marathon de Mont Blanc, is right in the heart of Chamonix, outside the Mary. In the atmosphere there during the whole week, but especially during the finish of the UTMB and some of the other big races as well, it was absolutely crazy. Crowds lining the streets. You finish, finish just run down a narrow avenue through the centre, centre of the high street, round the block, and back up again in front of the church and underneath that famous arch. So yeah, it's an amazing spectacle as a spectator, as well as an amazing feat of endurance by the runners themselves. So that's a summary of all the major events going on in and around Chamonix throughout the summer. But there's always something going on. No matter when you're here, you'll find something happening in town. It's busy, busy, busy all the time. So Chamonix in summer really is a special place to be. It's pretty unique in that regard in terms of ski resorts where it's a thriving town year round. And the summer is just as busy, if not busier than the winter. So hopefully you found this useful. I'll be covering some of the events that I've mentioned in this video in more detail closer to the time they actually run, such as the Arctic Academy, probably the UTMB as well. So yeah, stay tuned if you want to stay informed. And also, if you want to find out about what the alpine conditions are like up high, then tune into my playlist on that as well.